can't take your t-shirt off the bed well hello youtube and rv fans thank you for tuning in today i'm coming to you from the beautiful picturesque capital city of victoria british columbia canada on the pacific ocean where i'm rving at the wonderful west bay marine village yacht club and rv park and i'm literally probably about 70 feet from the pacific ocean what a wonderful place to rv one of the best rv parks you could actually spend any time in. and i was lucky to get a spot here today in victoria but uh today we're actually going to talk about the castles of british columbia in canada yes we actually have castles Hard to believe, but uh, part of our history, of course, as a Commonwealth nation here in Canada, is our British history. And uh, back in the late 19th century, uh, Robert Dunsmuir, a coal baron, built a beautiful castle. It was uh, so magnificent, he actually died 17 months before it was built. And it was completed in 1890. And uh, I'm going to show you some aerial drone footage that I shot of it. It's uh, absolutely breathtaking. And I uh, used to live here in Victoria, and I was a member of their historical society that's actually renovating and restoring that castle. Well, his uh, child actually became the 14th Premier, which is like a governor, I guess, for you Americans, of British Columbia. And he built an even more magnificent castle, which I'm also going to show you. So on that note, I'm not going to talk over these beautiful, magnificent uh, uh, living pieces of uh, art that these buildings are. Because uh, when it comes to architecture and those type of buildings, I like them to speak for themselves because they are truly magnificent edifices to a time gone by and they are living art. And uh, the Hatley Castle, for example, is now part of a university called Royal Roads University and it, it continues on to this day. So on that note I'll let you enjoy. It. 